Xtools Cash Flow are a series of very sophisticated planning tools to help the advisor look at a client situation from where they are today until the end of the cash flow period. The period can run to a number of years or a particular term or mortality rates can be input um, uh, from England or Great Britain. We can look at the client's tax situation. We can look at whether they qualify for the state pension, any additional pension details, and any trust entities. The beauty of the XTools cash flow are that they are fully integrated to the client focus CRM module within XPlan. So at the press of a button, by using the import wizard, you can bring in everything we know about this client, hard and soft facts, income, expenditure, benefits in kind, goals, property, defined benefits pension schemes, life cover, critical illness, etc. In this example, we're going to look at a client who is 67, his partner is 64, and they're going to look at um, whether they have any particular need on IHT. So we're going to start off with a base scenario where we've got the children details, we've got the individual cash flow in terms of income and expenditure, and we can run this through to a display either in numbers or pictures. In this example we're going to look at a chart, and the chart known as CALM, Cash Assets Liabilities Management, We'll look at the situation from the net asset position, what inflows the client has coming in, and what expenditure uh, requirements they have throughout the cash flow. Honing in on the actual analysis, at the bottom of the screen, we can look at whether we want to see this in present value or future value. We can apply levers, so very quickly we can model retiring earlier or later if there's uh, potential to downsize the property in a particular year. And we can even uh, look at uh, stock market corrections and put in uh, a 10% stock market correction in a particular year and see what impact that has on the cash flow. In this example, the client's concerned about inheritance tax planning. So we're going to the inheritance and look at the position on second death for James. Again, we have a very simple graphic which can be incorporated into a client report, which will look at the net estate position over time and the accompanying IHT over that period. And we can look at the impact of the estate. In this example, the client will be giving away nearly 25% of their estate in IHT. The assumptions menu show economic assumptions uh, which the planning firm practice are in control of. The legislative um, imp impact is um, put in by us, so at budget time, IRIS will update all the parameters in terms of tax rates, uh, thresholds for IHT, and things like personal allowance, lifetime allowance. We can also look at what-if scenarios, if there's any uh, impact on uh, premature death, critical illness, or break in the cash flow. We can also look at a target of what percentage return is required to fund a particular lifestyle. In this example, the client's paying away 24.75%. We're now going to look at a different scenario. We're going we're to gift some property to uh, the children. So we're looking at a case study with a gift. So again, the same information can apply. We can use the import wizard to bring in those details. And then we can follow that through to the charts, look at the IHT position, and very, very quickly, we can establish that by taking that course of action and gifting the property, we can reduce the client's inheritance tax liability from nearly 25% down to about 18%. We can then put that into a merge report, so we can pop that into a cash flow example report, or we can put it into the XPlan app and view it, or the advisor can view it with the client on the engage view which can be used on tablets or laptop devices.
The X Tools Engage tools are designed to help the advisor in terms of protection, shortfall, and retirement shortfall analysis. In this example, we're going to look at a client who is age 50, has a pensionable salary of 70,000 per annum with some additional income, and is looking to retire at 65. We can establish what the client has in terms of retirement savings. In this example, they have £200,000 in various pension pots. They're making a contribution of £1,000 themselves, and they're getting 5% from them, their employer. The investment profile in this case is um, the Morningstar risk profile categories, um, and a risk profile can be done from here. The example I'm giving is that the client is a moderate investor. Uh, he qualifies for the state pension. And in terms of vesting, uh, we're going to look at an income drawdown um, and flexi drawdown um, method of vesting. We can compare that to annuities uh, as well as looking at tax-free cash and such. We can look at the retirement objectives of the client. Uh, in this example, the client is seeking to retire on 40000 per annum. We can also work to a budget or a percentage of salary and there is a sliding bar to change the retirement income type and amount there as well. Additionally, the client has some financial retirement objectives. He's seeking to go on a round-the-world cruise at the age of 70, so he's allocated 30,000 for that, and is looking to replace his car every four years and seeks to an amount of 10,000 pounds to cater for that. Very, very quickly, the advisor, the planner, can establish if the client is on track to meet those retirement objectives or otherwise. In this case, uh, the objective to fund the lifestyle they require is 920,000. They're currently on track for about a third of that. So there's certainly a shortfall in terms of contributions. And we can very quickly show the client that they will run out of assets in this example when they're 80. In terms of strategy, if we look at the balance and the requirement, we have uh, a strategy button where we can play around with uh, various parameters in such as investment style. We could take more risk. We could seek to reduce the expenditure. We could retire later. Or we have the button to optimize contributions. And that will work out that in order to meet that retirement objective, the client would need to be putting in an additional £11,480 per annum. If the client's happy with that, we can proceed or we can agree an amount that we're going to adjust it to and we can then summarize that to the client in an action plan which talks about modifying their savings increasing their contributions and uh, going into income drawdown and maximizing their retirement income uh, through a very simple tool